the New York City police officers have entered the Columbia University campus to disperse pro-Palestinian protesters there. NYC police officers entered the grounds of Columbia University on Tuesday night. According to the witnesses, the police made several arrests and loaded the protesters onto buses. The authorities called in NYC police after protesters broke into an academic building called Hamilton Hall overnight. We're clearing it out, police in a riot unit yelled as they marched up to the barricaded entrance to the building. Scores of more police marched to the protest encampment. The authorities called in NYC police after protesters broke into an academic building called Hamilton Hall overnight. We're clearing it out, police in a riot unit yelled as they marched up to the barricaded entrance to the building. Scores of more police marched to the protest encampment. Shame, shame, jeered many onlooking undergrads still outside on campus. The United States has been gripped by a massive wave of campus protests against Israel's genocidal war on Gaza. Earlier on Tuesday, Columbia University threatened academic expulsion of students who took over a campus building as tensions between authorities and anti-war activists intensified. Students at Columbia University are facing expulsion threats as tensions between authorities and anti-war activists intensify. University officials issued the threats after protesters broke into an academic building called Hamilton Hall overnight. They unfurled a banner reading Heinz Hall while barricading themselves inside. The move was a show of resentment over the killing of a six-year-old Palestinian child by the same name in the Gaza Strip. Mayor Eric Adams and city police officials told reporters the Hamilton Hall takeover was instigated by outside agitators who lack any affiliation with Colombia. Adams suggested some of the student protesters were not fully aware of external actors in their midst. We cannot and will not allow what should be a peaceful gathering to turn into a violent spectacle that serves no purpose. We cannot wait until this situation becomes even more serious. This must end now, the mayor said. Meanwhile, the pro-Palestine fever has also reached the European shores, with France being the epicenter of the fresh protests there. Report by Press TV's website.